Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to see this intersection shader using shader graph um, which you can change its color, you can change the intensity and the offset and the power of the fernel. So, and this is obviously an inter interactive. So let's jump into it. So I'm using the Unity 2019.1 beta, and that's because the depth scene no didn't work before uh, the shader graph five as far as i understand and in unity 2018 you cannot uh, get more than 4.9 so here we have 5.61 so we are going to use that and the first thing that we are going to do is to create a shader and let's call it intersection let's open it up And obviously the first thing that we are going to create is the depth scene node. And you'll think that this is going to work just by itself, but no, it will not work because it is linear and not, I think, I, they call it. And so we are going to do some calculations on it to convert it to that. So if you plug it in directly, it's not going to work. So we are going to multiply it by the far plane from the camera node and then we will need to subtract it from how far each, uh, each uh, vertex is from the camera and so you will need a screen position on the row mode and you split it and we will use the Z. So we will subtract what, mul what we multiplied by the Z of that. And let's connect that into the emission so we can see what's going on. Let's create a plane. And let's create a material out of the shader. And let's assign this material to the plane. And let's turn off the post-processing. All right, you can see that it's not working yet. So what's going on? Um, we did not uh, change the surface to transparent. And we should be using the alpha, not the Z. Let's save that and just look at it. And now you can see you have your beautiful depth working okay let's go back and let's do one minus what we have so that black becomes white and white becomes black and then let's multiply this by a property of a property that we can um, modify in the GUI. So let's clear it multi and connect it to the multiplier. And let's also add another property called offset, which we can offset how uh, we can offset the distance of each plane from or each surface from the camera by subtracting this alpha by this property that we made. Let's connect that instead. And let's connect the multiply. Let's save that and go back. Now let's set the multiply to one. This is one minus work, which made uh, the black becomes white and white becomes black. And you can see if you increase this, you will increase the intensity. If you decrease it, there will be um, more variant of the shade, let's say. And you can change the offset so that you can 
see where does it start and where does it end. And so this looks good. Let's go back. The next thing that we are going to do is to connect this to a smooth step. And so you will have the least value is zero and the most is one. And let's connect that to the alpha and hit save. We actually don't need to connect anything to the emission anymore. Let's save that and let's look at it. And you can see that it is apparent, but uh, just a little. So you will have to uh, turn off the cast shadow and let's set this to some red color so we can see it. And now you can see the actual stuff. You can change the offset and the multiply. So let's go ahead and create a sphere and reset its transform. Let's move it up and make it bigger. And let's apply the material to it. And now you can see that in the intersection places you have the color, but on like the outside of the mesh, you don't have anything. So to fix that or to change that, we are going to create a Fresnel node and let's create a property for the power of the Fresnel. Let's call it Fresnel power. And let's connect that to the power. Default it to three. And then we can connect both of these to a max node which will take the, the bigger value between each two. And let's use that instead. Now you can see everything is have a color. Let's just increase the power a little bit. That looks better. Now you can see the Fresnel clearly. And let's decrease the offset so that it's kind of same as the fernal power. Obviously the fernal on uh, flat surfaces looks weird a little bit on some certain angles. So we have also this hexagon texture that we are going to use and we are going to use it by obviously creating a property of a texture and let's call it pattern and let's drop that in connect it to a sample texture node and let's use the alpha only obviously So we will subtract whatever we have from the maximum node. From that texture and use that instead. This is probably the opposite way as yes, it is. Let's flip them. And let's select the default texture now you can see it let's go back and select a texture and i guess we need some tiling let's create a tiling and offset node and let's connect it you can obviously create a property for the tiling but i'm just gonna put it as five and five let's save that now you can see there is an issue when we do this 
and that's because we are actually subtracting from the maximum but what we should do is to subtract from each of the two steps before putting them in the maximum so let's subtract from the fernal Let's move these. And let's duplicate the subtract. Let's connect whatever the multiply is giving us. Subtract it from the same. Use that instead. Let's save that. And look at that. And it looks quite good. Now you can see if you move the plane or the sphere you can have your you will have your nice intersections as well as the fernal so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to click the subscribe button i also want to thank everyone who supported me by getting my asset the link is in the description thank you very much and have a nice day